Hi everybody, Lorraine here. An 11 by 14 inch canvas and I have a piece of beaded chain and I have paint and I'm gonna play. I want to say thank you to everyone for coming to visit with me tonight. Uh, I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. That way you'll be notified um, whenever I upload a video. I already have my white paint, and what I'm using is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics for my white. And kind of put that down before I start the video because I love watching YouTube videos. I love watching painting videos of all kinds. And I hate watching people spread paint on their canvas for some reason. I usually end up fast forwarding and getting to the interesting part. So I don't know how many of you feel the same way. Um, hey, if you want to watch me spread paint on my canvas, let me know in the comments and I'll start spreading paint on my canvas. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've got my beaded chain coiled up here and I am going to just pour some paint next to it, kind of on top of it. This is a Master's Touch color. It's called Rogue. It's kind of a deep magenta. It is one of my absolute favorite colors because it's so pretty. Then I have some ultramarine. Spread on there. And I am going to put some gold in there too. This is one of my favorite color combinations. And I am going to try to very gently pull this outward. Trying to go slowly because I don't want to have my paint go up and over the chain. Just want it to move along. This is leaving a really neat fringe. I'm trying really hard to not put my hands right in the middle so you can't see what's going on. But I have to gather the chain up as I go so that I don't drop it. I do not want to drop it in my painting. And it's slippery with paint. So I'm trying to be very careful. The way I gather this up. all selling up because the paint is being agitated, moved over each other, and just like that, beautiful little rose, multicolored rose. Move it around just a little bit, stretch it out. So there is quite a little bit of paint that I can see in the middle because pulling that the way that I did it pushed everything towards the center. Bring it back gently. It's not moving an awful lot, which is good. I 
really like to expand this out a bit. I'm going to wipe my chain off. I'm wondering if I dare try to go around the outside edge. Do I dare? Do I dare? I think I do. I think I do. Just going to try and lay it carefully. Right on the outer edge. And try not to be too clumsy about it. Just like that. Hold on to it. Put some of my purple flash down. I don't think I'll put as much this time, just kind of drizzle it around. Some of my ultramarine. Get a thin line, it dripped in the middle there. I wish I wouldn't have done that. A little more of this rogue. I'm just going to slowly pull it outward. My hope is if I do it kind of jaggedly, it'll look more like a flower. I did not put any of my gold in that last layer. That's what's missing. fix that spot. Sorry if my arm is right in the middle of it. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to let it set for a minute. I'm going to go rinse this chain off and see if I want to do anything else. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see all of the little cells going on here. I'm going to give it a torch and see if anything else happens. So there are some air bubbles in there. Let's do that a little bit. But look how cool that center looks. All the little lacing going on. Little lines here. It's very cool. Sorry, I shook the camera. I'm gonna bring it back out a little bit. I want to just fix these spots that that I don't like here. I'm gonna take this off. Just gently sweep it away. Do the same thing over here. Just gently sweep that away. Get this little blob here. Move it off. And I can just fill in the white paint in those areas. This is another boring part of a video to watch. Okay. For some reason, I just want to touch it, make little points come off. Give it little flicks.
I love it. It's so pretty. I give it a little roll. Hoping it dries well. A little bit more paint in the center than there is in the outer edges, but I think it's going to dry pretty well. I think it will do all right. Well, guys, there we go. A little different way of making a flower. with a chain. And I'll bring it up so you can see it up close. There's the top edge. I can hear it dripping down. It's pretty cool. There's the center, which I think is the coolest part of it. Some nice little sweeps out right there. And the webbing. It's very cool. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, thanks for visiting. Bye.